Welcome to the Code to Enhance Learning video series to learn coding. Let's start with the lesson Help with Tables. A SIR 2018 report showed that 61% of the children in grades 6 to 8 are not able to do division. How does this make you feel? What do you think we can do? In order to do division quickly, children should know multiplication tables. The objective is to make an application where the user has to help a character to say multiplication table. Before starting, let's see a preview. Let's press this button. You will say the table of 1. 1 by 1 equals. <laughs> 1 by 2 equals. You need to learn your table. In order to make this application, we need to learn a concept called variables. Variables are defined as placeholders who allow storing number and text which can change. For example, in a cricket match, we need a placeholder to show the runs of a team. So we will create a variable called score and we will keep storing the score of the team in the variable score. In the beginning, of the variable score will be 0. As the score of the team increases, the value of the variable score will increase. Before we start making this project, let's think and note down the response to questions. Can you tell me what will happen on stage? Okay, the teacher gives a random table to recite to the character in the game. The character recites the multiples of a given random number. The user helps the character to recite the multiples. The game moves ahead if the user helps the character with the correct answer. Also the pairs cheers the character. If the answer is wrong, then the teacher asks the character to learn the tables well. The crowd feels sad. Now, I will think about what we will need on the stage. Okay, a start button, main character, teacher and peer students as a sprite and a classroom as a backdrop. First, let's start with the sprite. Here you can see I have created three sprites up till now. The first sprite is button to start the game. Another is teacher in the classroom and third one is the character who is going to recite the poem. Now I am going to draw a fourth sprite which shows bunch of students. Here you can see I have drawn different costumes so that it looks like they are moving. Now I am going to draw a backdrop for class. Let's move to the coding part. First, I will write code for the sprite that is button. We want that when we press this green flag, then the button will show up and simultaneously all the other sprites get hidden. So for this, we will select this event block and select show block. Similarly, for the other sprites, we will select this event block along with the height block. After this, when user press this button here, then this sprite should get hidden while other sprites should show up. For this, we will select these blocks. The broadcast block is used as when we click on the sprite, it will send the message start and then this sprite will hide. Now, this message will be received by all the sprites which when receive this message, gets appear on the screen.
Now the teacher will ask any random table to speak. For this we are going to create a variable. This is used to store the number for which he has to recite a table. We have learned about variables in the beginning of the lesson. Variable is a placeholder to store the values. So I have created a variable table i. Now this variable is going to store values in it. So now I will select this block as I want the teacher to ask the student to recite any table randomly. I will use the pick random block and set its value from 1 to 12. With pick random block, computer will pick any random number between 1 to 12 whose table the student will recite. I want the teacher to tell the student to recite a table which is randomly chosen in her voice. I will use a speech block for this. Speech block works only when there is internet connection. There are different voices present here. You can choose any of them. I am going to select this one. I want the teacher to say that you will recite the table of and the value stored in table i to form a sentence. For this I will use join block. Join block will join the sentence and the variable table i. We will also use a say block to let the teacher tell the student through speech bubble on stage. Now we want to start the table. So for this we will broadcast a message start table. And this message will be received by this sprite. So now he will recite table like for example 8 times 1 is equals to 8 times 2 is equals to and so on. Here again we need a variable to store the value 1, 2, 3 as the table progresses. So for that I will choose this block and let the variable be i. Now I will set a voice which is different from the first character. Now again I am going to use this operator along with the variables that we have created. With the help of this blog, he will recite the table in his voice. As here he does not know the answer, so he will ask for user's help. So here we will use this ask block. Now we are going to use if block here to check whether the entered answer is right or wrong. If it is right, then we use broadcast here so that a chair message will be sent to students. And when they receive it, they will play a sound of cheering and they will change their costumes as well so that it will look like they are enjoying. So for this, I am going to use this block. If it is wrong, then again we use broadcast here so that a stop message will be sent to students and the teacher. When the teacher receives it, Then she will say, you have to learn tables. And when students received it, they show that they are feeling sad for him. So this is the code for it. After this we will use this block to stop the script. We want to increase value of i by 1. Here we are going to use this block so that the variable i keep increasing by 1 up to 10 as it happens in table. So for this we are going to use repeat block here. If the user entered all the answers correctly, then he will say thanks. For this, I will use these blocks so that he will say thanks for cheering me to the students. So, 
The coding part is done. Now let's see how the whole program will run. You will say the table of 9. 9 by 1 equals. <laughs> 9 by 2 equals. You need to learn your table. So this is the code for help with tables using scratch programming. After this, I have some quizzes for you. Read it carefully and discuss the answer with your partner or teacher. Now, before ending this, I have some questions which you have to discuss with your partner or teacher. Thank you for watching.